Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Elgato HD60S and just streaming from a dual PC setup in general. So usually with this kind of setup, you would run your HDMI from your main PC to the Elgato and then an HDMI from here to your main computer screen. And then from the Elgato, you have a USB going to your streaming PC, recording PC, whichever you call it. And uh, usually that's how people do it, but I've actually found a way around it to where you can use your display port from your main PC to your computer screen and then just get your capture card connected to your PC and then into your recording PC. It'll make more sense, but first intro. All right, so I got my capture card here, the Elgato HD 60S, and uh, here's what we're gonna do. So first you're gonna plug your HDMI into the back of your PC, then plug that same HDMI into the in port on your Elgato. Then what you're gonna do is plug the USB-C into the Elgato as well, and plug the other end of that USB into your streaming slash recording PC. That's all you have to do with the Elgato. Next, you can essentially just have your HDMI display port from your main PC into your computer screen. That way you have a great quality monitor. You don't have to worry about getting just HD 60 frames per second to your monitor. If you have a 4K or a 2K monitor, this is how you would solve that issue. Because before, I tried to plug an HDMI through the out port on the Elgato into my monitor, and it wasn't that great at all. I didn't like that. So that's how I got around it. Next, you're gonna have to do a couple things. You're gonna have to download the right software. So Game Capture HD and Sound Capture is what Elgato has on their website. Link in the description, you can go ahead and download that software, it's free. All you would have to do is have the same settings I have here on the screen. So I have PC Gaming tab selected here. I want to hear my PC gameplay through my headphone jack. That's what I have plugged in here. That's why it says Real Talk R Audio. It might say something different on yours depending if you have USB headphones or some other type of headphone that you have plugged into your computer. So just make sure that that goes to your headphones. And then your next tab is the option of where your Elgato capture card is plugged into. Choose the right one. It might take a couple attempts. I got mine on this attempt, so try this one, but you if it doesn't work, you can try the next ones. Now you need to make sure that this software is installed on your gaming PC, not the recording PC, because you need to send the audio through the correct channels. You're not gonna be able to do that from your streaming PC. And then in your streaming software of choice, just make sure you go ahead and click the correct inputs. For example, with Streamlabs OBS, I had to create a capture device. And then when I wanted to capture my screen in my streaming PC, I had to make sure I had video capture device and make sure I checked the correct input. Then I went to the custom settings, made sure all the custom settings were how I wanted it. I also used the custom audio device this may take a couple attempts as well, but you'll, do, you'll be able to get it right. Uh, you can definitely copy the settings I have here if you're using Streamlabs or Streamlabs OBS, but you can definitely try it and give it a go. And that's pretty much it. A great piece of hardware with also some great software uh, that can definitely get a great product going. Um, I haven't seen a lot of these tutorials out there with a dual PC setup. Um, not a lot of people do them really well. Uh, so I really hope, th hope this helped. If it did, consider subscribing. I am going to be making more in the future. Uh, leave a like, that also would help. Uh, but remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting. That's it. Good. I'm not doing this anymore. Good. Done. Wah -bah.